Hello everyone, this is Claude from Quebec, Canada, and you are watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on TJV. Good morning, everybody. Look at that beautiful sunrise right in front of us. We wanted to be up a little earlier in this, like I said in yesterday's vlog, but here we are, living the dream. Sun's already up. Let's get this beast started. Let's get the show on the road. Come to life, my girl. Are you ready? Are you ready? Do you still love me? Oh, she still loves me. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. So today is a good day for a good day. Let's get out there. You have 13 hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. All right. Okay, let's get going. I'm just gonna quickly uh, reset my gauges again. I always forget to do that before I start rolling. Uh, I just like to keep track of my mileage throughout the day so I know how far I've gone through the day and my fuel economy. I can reset that in my computer here. Let's go. Oh yeah, it's gonna be such a good day. Every day trucking's a good day. Not every day trucking's a good day. That was, that was not true, but we're gonna just go with it. Some days trucking are, uh, is, uh, or some days in trucking are headaches. Really, really bad headaches, but you take the bad with the good. Let's see if we can get on here. This guy with his fancy load here is going towards Edmonton and we are going towards Saskatoon. We're still on the Alberta side of the border. So I'm a terrible gift giver. By that I mean I'm, I'm not good at paying attention to what people need. You know, when you're buying gifts for your family members, your loved ones, your friends, my wife is phenomenal at it. It's a big word for her. She's really good. She listens to every little detail throughout the year and she pays attention. She really, really loves to give gifts. Gives gift. She really loves to give gifts at Christmas and at any time, for birthdays, anything. I mean, She's usually got her Christmas list for everyone written out by like summertime. And uh, it's something she really enjoys. It's something I really admire about her. She's really reminded me what it's all about. You know, I lived on my own for a decade or so. Moved out of mom and dad's house when I was 18 uh, to go work in the city. Ended up coming back to the country. But uh, being a bachelor and living on your own for that long, I mean, there's something that a woman brings to your life, you know? <laughs> a man and a woman definitely sort of, they complete each other, you know? I, I, I can bring things to her life and she can bring things to mine and together we sort of create, we create one full life together, right? But anyway, she's a, uh, really good at giving gifts and I'm I never know what to get anyone I never know so by the time you guys are watching this it is uh, oh it's probably Christmas Eve we're very close to it so uh, Merry Christmas everybody it's not Christmas for me yet my videos are a little behind takes me a little bit of time to put them all together for you but I hope you guys are having a great Christmas and you are enjoying the season of giving I hope wherever you are in the world that it is a, a festive season for you. We are gonna try to get 1,000 kilometers behind us today. That's 620 miles. And we're taking her easy. But once again, it seems we're going against wind. I don't get it. How am I always going against wind? Remember we picked up that steel out there in St. Uh, St. Joseph, Missouri? Brought it up here to Alberta. The entire three days drive up here, we were against wind every day. 
So now I'm going the other way. I'm like, all right, we're gonna be with the wind. No, 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 no. Mother Nature just swift switches that thing around and now we're going against wind going this way. I don't get it. She will not ruin my Christmas. It's going to be good. The wind was so bad going against us on the way up here that I was averaging about 50 liters every 100 kilometers being burnt. I know that that's not speaking American for you guys. I don't know how to convert that really quickly, but let's let's, let's talk dollars, okay? What do you want? Oh, there's a scale coming up. Eh, hopefully it's closed. So 50 liters, we're, we're talking up here in Canada, it's about $1.20 a liter for diesel. And in the US, it's about $1 a liter per for diesel when you do the conversion and some Canadian. So let's use the American prices because I fueled up at Minot and it got me all the way to Red Deer, okay? So a dollar a liter, we burnt 50 liters every 100 kilometers. We were doing about 100 kilometers an hour. So every hour, I burnt $50 of fuel. Okay, we drove for 13 hours. Yeah, it was bad. It was really bad. Usually I average about 35 liters per 100 kilometers, something like that. And I was trying to save fuel too, but the wind was just brutal. So today we're doing a little better than that. We're uh, right now I'm averaging about uh, 45 so let's try to get that down below 40 I'm, I'm already going 60 miles an hour I don't really want to go much slower than that I don't want to do 55 but even if I have to I guess I'm kind of hoping that the winds will shift again for me it's, it's not very nice not very nice you know switch it around just for me to go back now against wind again that's not very nice What's going on over here? What's going on over here? Are you on the shoulder or what are you? How are you on the shoulder? Sorry. My window's a little frosty right now. I'm trying to defrost it. On my side here. Apparently I'm pretty hot because I'm fogging up the window beside me. Got the defrost blowing at it. It's slowly clearing it up. Joys of winter driving. Like I said, it's a good day to be trucking. Look at this. The sun is shining behind the clouds there somewhere. The roads are clear. They're not icy. It would just be a fantastic day to be trucking if we could have the wind help us out a little bit here and push us instead of work against us. But, meh. It is what it is. We're on our way home, technically. We're going down to Iowa, then we're going straight home. If there's no load for me down in Iowa, I'm going to be going home empty from there so that I don't miss Christmas. That was my decision. Lewis Trail, Highway 11. Oh, buddy, you were gonna cut me off and slam on your brakes at that red light. Good thing that worked out. We're here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, as it's known by some circles. You guessed it, we're stopping at the Flying J. Right no one cares, Karen. Highway 11. Always trying to tell me what to do. I should call you Greta. Always trying to tell me how to live my life, tell me what to do. So you guessed it, we're going to Pilot Flying J. We're going to get some wonderful fresh coffee because in 300 meters slide right on no Lewis Rail Trail Highway 11 because the coffee there they, that fresh ground coffee I don't know how to explain it it is so much better than any I gotta find a machine that I can have at home for fresh ground coffee like if you guys got links for that on Amazon or something send me send me some of that stuff not not the product I mean just the link I want to buy it the stuff where you have the coffee beans on top of the coffee maker and for every cup of coffee it grinds up the beans fresh for you for every cup 
right there in front of you. I want one of those. It's just amazing. I don't know why it's so different. I don't know the science behind it, but whoo. Oh, I gotta be in that lane. Shoot, 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 shoot. Here's mate. Pardon me. Thank you. I wanna go straight. And apparently, only the right lane here goes straight. All these people want to go left. There's the Flying J just across the street there. I don't know how to explain it. I just got to tell you, just try it. If you guys are in North America and you see a pile of Flying J, just pull in there, see if they have it. The last two ones I was at at Red Deer and uh, uh, where was the other smaller pilot traveling? pilot travel centers sometimes they don't have the machine there but you'll know the machine when you see it it's got the coffee beans on top of it and like this clear jar a little touch screen on try it try it it'll change your life well diesel where are we man we're at the forbidden place the scale oh no why are we here man why would you stop here it's scary i know right because no one's here. <laughs> no one's home, it's just us. So we're just using their lot here. I wanna show you what's the most frustrating thing about uh, pulling lumber loads. Uh, that This lumber load doesn't need to be tarped because it's wrapped, right? They wrap it themselves, you saw it. But that wrap is garbage. So it's not like the end of the world. It's not a big, big deal or anything. But uh, let's go outside. Let, let's show you what happens to this wrap when you go down the highway. Those of you truck drivers out there who haul this stuff know exactly what I'm talking about. Here we go. It's a little windy, so don't mind the wind noise. You ready? You ready? Did you guess it? Did you guess it? Did you guess that? That's what happened. See, I already used like my, my rubber pieces that I, that I have, and I staple it like crazy on there. You can't really see it, can you? Just to sort of stop it from doing that, but it rips off anyways. Like, look at that. I have those two pieces there. See him? And it rips off and it does this. And there's nothing you can do about it. I fix it like four or five times a day and it just rips back up. I hate delivering stuff to the customer that looks like this. But that's what happens. It happens to everybody. I guess we just. I stopped to check on it because I saw it flapping around back here. I'm going to try to fix it again see how long it lasts so the way I fix this is uh, I got the toolbox down here oh good boy diesel you ate all your food good boy I didn't even hear you crunching back there I must have been off in my own world so I've got my uh, my toolbox down here right and ah, no you guys okay didn't mean to drop you hope you didn't break anything oh boy I don't think I got insurance for, for you guys, if I hurt you. Diesel, do you think, I think you're fine, man. Just show him your toolbox. Okay. So, uh, unlock this here, you unlock this here. And you open this up and, ta-da! You use this, staple it all back in place. Uh, I guess I'll grab another rubber piece. I didn't really want to use all my rubber pieces because these are very hard to come by. And uh, I haven't been able to find them anywhere else yet. Oh, there we go. See, they're these pieces. I don't know where to find these, but uh, they're very useful. This is what I use to prevent this. Try to prevent it. First, you got to make sure that you're fully stocked with ammo. We're set. Sometimes got to fight with it. It doesn't want to work with you. Ah. You got to do this several times a day. First of all, I just tack it in place so it stops dancing around and stops fighting me. Okay, here we go. Stop! 
Okay. I'll grab my rubber here. Oh, I can't really rip this in half, can I? Okay. So uh, the wind comes around the truck here. I'll put this here like this. You really go to town with the staples, okay? You go to town. This is no time to be conservative. That's gonna be held down. Now this side needs one needs one as well. Okay, so I'm gonna add one more rubber piece onto that corner there yet too. And hopefully that'll be enough to hold it. I don't know, we're going against a strong wind again. Doesn't matter which direction, we're going straight south now. And we're still going against wind. We were going east all the way from Missouri. I told you this already, right? And it blows my mind how we can always be going against wind. But whatever mother nature has it out for us, but we will prevail. We will endure through hard times. Hopefully that holds it. I'm out of ammo. Got plenty more in the truck, but I don't want to use it all here. We're getting very close to the U.S. border here. We're in, uh, what is this, Estevan? In Saskatchewan. And we're gonna stop at the Petro Pass. Where's the building? Oh, there it is. I hope it's open. I have a feeling Karen's gonna pipe up any second now because I turned off her her route. I just need a coffee. Are you open for coffee? Are they open? Are they open boys? You're not gonna answer me. Nobody uses a CB radio in Canada really. It's more of an American thing and uh, I don't even have my I haven't had mine hooked up in probably seven years. I don't even know. Uh, once, once I did hook it up, like I, every now and then I take a listen, I never find anything good on there. It's just a bunch of people going I can't understand what they're saying anyway. And I have uh, like technology in my truck that will warn me about traffic coming up and accidents and stuff like that, like in real time. So all of the arguments to have uh, a radio in my truck that is from the 1960s and 1970s, uh, I just, I find it to be very outdated. And uh, it's a lot of truckers on there just yelling at each other, swearing at each other, telling dirty jokes. So seven years ago, I decided to turn it off and I never turned it back on. I guess I actually have in between there just to see if anything changed and everything was exactly the same. But that's just my own personal opinion on it, you know. And so, some people really like them still and use them a lot. I don't. Maybe because I'm a driver from up in Canada here and it was never really as big up here, never really a big thing. But if you try to get a hold of me on the CB, if you see me out there, uh, I won't respond because I don't even have mine plugged in. I don't think this place is open. This place is closed. Why are you closed? You have a customer here with money that he wants to give to you. It's very hard to give you money when you lock the doors. What you doing? What you doing there, Petrol Pass? What in the world? What in tarnation? Yeah, it's closed. Well, what in the Allison Chains is going on here? This is crazy. It's only nine o'clock. On a weekday. What is it today? Tuesday? It's Tuesday. It's not even Christmas. What are you closed up for? Christmas is in a couple of weeks. It's not now. Look at this place. Look at this place. Closed. I wanted to give you my money. You should just drive right in there, eh? <laughs> Don't mind me, just picking up a coffee. You locked the door, so I had to use my truck to get in. 
All right, well, off we go. I guess we'll have to get coffee somewhere in the U.S. where they uh, they want my money. Well, actually, you know what? No, shoot, I gotta park here somewhere yet. Okay, good thing there's nobody behind me. Uh, I gotta park here and get all my paperwork ready to cross the border. Oh, and my the wrap on my lumber is ripped up again. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as it was before. I'm just gonna go park along the snowbank over here and uh, just get all my paperwork ready. And uh, cross the border into the U.S. of A. Woo! We just crossed through Customs and Border Protection, USA. We are now officially welcomed as guests into the United States of America. Now we promise to be real good. Let's not let them down. So this is Portal, North Dakota. Just on the other side was North Portal, Continue Saskatchewan. This road for 12 kilometers. No one cares. Border, North Dakota. We're, time zone. You thought we were, what? You're kind of late there, Karen. You getting tired? You need to go to bed? Well, I have 14 minutes left on my clock and we're pulling into Flying J here in Minot. Gonna quickly fuel ourselves up with some, uh, some winter diesel. I think they, they always have diesel number one for sale here, which is winter diesel in the US. In Canada, just all diesel is winter diesel. <laughs> in 300 meters, turn left on. Frontage road in N, turn left in 60 meters. All right, sounds good, Karen. Sounds like a good idea. I almost turned in the wrong entrance again. I do that every time. I think I told you that last time. Right? There's someone in the pumps backwards. Oh no, he's just always oh, just parked there. I hope we get parking here. I mean, there's no parking here. We're gonna have to make some parking. There'll be parking. I have faith. There will be parking. Let's get in here. Quickly fill up the tanks. I don't like going to bed in the winter time without having full tanks. It's, just, it's, it's not very cold, it's only minus 10 Celsius out tonight and it's supposed to go above zero or above freezing tomorrow. So it's only gonna warm up overnight. So that's good, that's really good. 